Economics is an applied science, just the same as medicine or engineering. Medical professionals strive to find better ways to treat disease and help people live better, healthier lives, all the while knowing that they will probably never treat the root cause of the issue, the ultimate frailty of the human body. Likewise, engineers build factories, bridges, and computers that they know will be out of date, but that nonetheless solve a practical purpose at the present. Economists also fight an unbeatable enemy, but one that governs far more than health or mechanics. Instead, economists are tasked with addressing the issue of scarcity. Scarcity states that nothing exists in infinite quantities, and it is absolutely essential to understanding economics. Luckily, economists don't have to attempt to address scarcity blindly. Instead, they are armed with the idea of utility, which helps people understand how useful something is to us. Let's talk about the bad news first. Scarcity exists. I don't care what resource you're talking about. It's scarce. Food? Scarce. Air? Scarce. Diamond rings? Very scarce. Bad cooking from your mother-in-law? Thankfully, that too is scarce, albeit still in large quantities. In fact, maybe this whole scarcity thing isn't so bad. Seriously, we tend to make bad decisions when we forget that scarcity exists. When we forgot that air and water were scarce resources, we polluted them, and now we have to spend more of our scarce resources to fix those mistakes. When companies treat their employees as an infinite resource that can be replaced at a whim and use this as an excuse to lower wages, they often find that no work is getting done by anyone since all their employees are on strike. That means that the company has to spend its resources to stay afloat during the strike rather than to produce more goods to sell. Scarcity is literally everywhere, and it's not likely to disappear anytime soon. In fact, location has a great deal to do with scarcity. When you are at the grocery store, you have no doubt seen drinks on sale in the cooler for around $2. You occasionally get one knowing full well that if you were to exit the line and walk to the back of the store, you could get much more bang for your buck. However, because cool drinks are a scarce good, the store can charge more for them. Granted, we can always increase efficiency, or our ability to make more of something with a given amount of inputs. However, that greater efficiency is still not infinite. Until such time that science gives us a machine that produces infinite amounts of everything instantaneously, and moves it instantaneously to any place, I can absolutely assure you that scarcity will always exist. Don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom for economists. Luckily, we have a very useful tool to help determine a pecking order of priorities. While every resource experiences scarcity, every resource also has a utility. Utility is the term that economists use to describe the usefulness of something to someone. Utility gives us a very useful way of figuring out how to use scarce resources in the most productive ways. Think about it like this. Let's say on Friday night you were going to have some friends over to watch TV all night. Now, do you get a pizza or do you get carryout from that fancy French restaurant across town? If it's just you and your friends having fun, you're probably going to order the pizza. After all, the utility of needing to order escargot just isn't there. However, what if instead of having a bunch of friends over, you were actually going on a date with someone you found extremely attractive? Now, now you are probably racing to the French restaurant's website to make reservations. In this case, the utility of impressing your date Eight far outweighs the utility of having a few extra dollars in your bank account. It's not always so cut and dry, though. Presumably, you're watching this lesson because you want to do well in economics as part of a degree. Why go to college? That's a lot of tuition money you could spend on other things. Why economics? Why not medicine or engineering? The answer is that you find greater utility in economics and specifically doing well in said economics course than you would in anything else. In this lesson, we learned about the roles that scarcity and utility play in economics. We learned about how scarcity exists everywhere, and how, despite our best efforts to increase efficiency, 
there is absolutely no chance that anything will ever exist in truly limitless quantity at every location that we require. Additionally, we learned how economists use utility to better cope with scarcity and how utility can change depending on different circumstances.